Welcome to my unboxing of the Philco Magistouch 2 Camouflage 10 Keyless. So what does 10 Keyless mean? It means this is an 87 key keyboard. It is short. Here, even like a generic keyboard. It's like shorter. See? Shorter. So 10 Keyless is for people who want space savings and don't necessarily need a full number pad. Well, or a number pad at all. All right. So what do we got inside the box? First thing we find is a manual that doesn't appear to have a word of English on it. Sweet. Ah, there it is. Yes. Handling a keyboard. When you're using a keyboard, dropping or any kinds of activities may lead to accidents. Please keyboard on a secure flat surface when in use. The keyboard is an electrical device that contains circuits and transformers. Do not expose the keyboard to water or any other liquid. Excellent. Good advice. Adopting MX switches. Cherry MX switches are mechanical switches developed by ZF Electronics Corporation Germany. Key travel is four millimeters deeper than comparative models. The actuation point is located at two millimeters from the top when pressed down. This keyboard uses individual Cherry MX switches that give you light touch typing. Okay, so mechanical keyboards. If you guys don't know this already, they are 100 billion times better, and this is all sort of my own personal opinion, than keyboards that are not mechanical because they are significantly more comfortable. They are significantly more satisfying to use because of the awesome noises that they make. And I can guarantee you, like I'll, I will put my personal Linus guarantee of approval on the concept that they will make you type faster. Almost everyone I've ever encountered, no, everyone I've ever encountered, it's a guarantee, has sat down in front of a mechanical keyboard, started to use it, and realized after a short period of time that they are typing faster on it. And we're talking significantly, maybe 10, maybe 15, 20% faster than you can on a membrane keyboard, even if it's a really good membrane switch keyboard. So let's keep on going with this guy right here. So this one uses uh, cherry black switches. So the black switches are actually here. There's a key remover. So I'm gonna show you guys what exactly is the dealio with the names of the various Cherry switches. So Cherry MX, that is the brand of switches that are used. And then there, okay, this is a very interesting, hold on, I'll, don't worry, I'll figure it out. It's like, so you put it under the thing and then probably from, oh, okay. He's laughing at me now because I think you're supposed to go this way. Um, so this is a key removal tool and not, not the awesomest one that I've ever seen. There. That is what makes this a Cherry MX Black, the fact that the actual switch right there is black. So the characteristics of black is that they have a linear, less tactile feel, so you don't feel that, that click, that sort of that spring, that, that uh, you don't really hear the noise as well, other than the key bottoming out. So if you put the camera close, you can actually hear, if I don't bottom them out, they're quite quiet. They don't have that. Uh, they don't have that loudness that is associated with mechanical keyboards. However, it's still going to be louder to type on than a membrane keyboard, just because most membrane keyboards aren't built very well, and it has a nice solid backplane that you're going to be landing on if you're typing with any kind of force whatsoever. So I'm going to pull off a few more keycaps here. This is probably the faster way to do it versus that tool. That's the worst tool I've ever seen for removing keycaps. Um, not that I'm like criticizing or anything, but that's sort of not, yeah, not ideal. And we're gonna replace the WASD keys with the included WASD keys. So let's have a look at the layout. Layout is, for me, the, the deal maker or the deal breaker of any mechanical keyboard. And it can be the difference between a keyboard that I love to type on, but I absolutely hate, and a keyboard that I hate to type on, but I absolutely have to use because there's no getting away from it. This has my favorite possible layout. No changes. Long shift key, long shift key. Long enter key, long backspace key, no long delete key. Awesome. I, I absolutely love it in every possible way. You've got a function key here instead of a Windows key. I personally consider this to be a boon for gamers because, oh, I don't think I put those on all the way. There we go. A boon for gamers because you're a lot less likely to be bothered if you accidentally hit a function key because then you'll have to like accidentally also hit like F three to mute your audio. Like what are, what are the freaking odds? Like, yeah. Um, whereas if you have a Windows key here, that could potentially bother you. However, I actually use the Windows key. So having a hardware switch to turn it off because I often forget to turn it back on is really annoying because I'll actually 
press on it, I want like the menu to come up, or I want to uh, cycle through my Windows using Windows Tab, and I can't. So there you go. Windows key, function key. Uh, it does have arrow keys, however, you notice the number pad is missing. Everything else is pretty normal. The one thing that you'll notice is missing, so it's still got your scroll lock and it's still got your um, caps lock buttons or lights, but it doesn't have a number lock button, which makes sense because there is no number pad. Ha! Keys are labeled on the tops, although Philco does have a ton of options for keyboards. We're actually going to be taking a look at a fair number of their keyboards. They have lots of different colors of keyboards, lots of different colors of switches, lots of different configurations in terms of the actual layouts of the keyboards. They are one of the most um, varied keyboard manufacturers out there, but the one thing they all have in common is they all use high quality builds and they all use high quality switches. So let's just take a quick look at the rest of the physical attributes of the of the camo keyboard here, which actually I was expecting to look kind of cheeseball, but it actually looks kind of cool. Uh, okay, so you got a flip up here, which will allow you to tilt the keyboard a little bit. You can see, again, just build quality, the weight of it, the proper rubber that's used on it, it's not going to go anywhere no matter how hard you mash on it. We've also got rubber here, 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 and here, and then your part number and your serial number on the bottom in case you need it for any particular reason. So I think that pretty much it comes down to, uh, it pretty much comes down to what your personal taste is in terms of the look, the layout, the switches, and what you're more, what you like best. So in general, blacks are considered more of a, a gaming key switch as opposed to a typist key switch. So depending what you use your computer for, you might want to go with a different skew. However, I don't think most typists are going to be interested in the camo, uh, the camo sort of look, so it's probably appropriate that they used a gaming switch on this model. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at Philco's Magistouch Camo 10 Keyless. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips, and don't forget it also includes a PS2 adapter in camo green, and these keyboards all include N-key rollover. I think, well, I think it's like, hold on, just a sec. Yes, it does have full N key rollover, which means you can press as many keys as you want and you won't run into any difficulty. Also, I've been informed by Slick, who's actually more of a keyboard nerd than I am, that this is apparently better than prying them off with your fingers because if you do it with your fingers, you can apply pressure in the wrong way and you can accidentally damage the switch. So that's why they have this tool, which seems goofy to me, but apparently it's for a reason. So there you have it. Thank you for watching.